We're going political. Yes, we are. We're going political. All right, here's the thing. We're not supposed to talk about politics or religion on our YouTube channels, but, you know, if you don't stand for something, you stand for nothing at all. And so I am taking a stand. And, yes, when it comes time to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance or or our, our anthem, I stand. Um, the reason why I want to talk about politics here and the reason why we're going to do this song by John Kahn called Fighter uh, is because it is showing me that the culture is in America that we support Trump. The culture is not that we support Kamala Harris. How do I know that? Okay, culture. Forget the polls, forget the pundits, forget the news channels, forget every other creator out there. There is one metric that's showing me that Trump's going to win our next election. Take it to the bank. It's all over. It's done. I'm telling you right now, Trump's going to win. How do I know this? Simple. Culture. Tom McDonald came out with a song called Mist. I've done a reaction to it. It's here on my channel. Look it up. Uh, it was about the first attempted uh, murder of Trump. Now, James Kahn comes along with his friend Willard, and uh, they put together a song called Fighter. That's what we're going to listen to here. So there's two songs by two different artists discussing the failed murder attempts, assassination attempts on Donald Trump. I don't see any assassination attempts on anybody else. I got to be careful here because I, I don't want to. I don't want to be putting out rhetoric that might empower somebody to think that I am calling for assassinations. I am not. Certainly not. Um, some people out there are. I am not. I'm going to say that you, you, you need to deal with this in the polls. You need to deal with this. In the, when you go in and you pull that handle in the voting booth, that's when you deal with this. Or the electronic ones don't have the handles anymore. I'm showing my age. Okay. Uh, but here's two people out there in this genre writing songs in our culture, writing songs about Donald Trump. I don't see Kamala Harris having anybody write songs about her. I don't see Joe Biden having anybody write songs about him. I don't see anybody writing songs about anything the Democrats or the Liberal Party is bringing to the party. I see two very talented individuals bringing out culture, uh, in, in our culture, talking about Donald Trump. That's the metric that I'm going to go on. Because where the culture goes, so goes the nation, I guess. All right. Well, now that I've said all that, and you're probably half of you are mad at me for saying Donald Trump's going to win, I'm going to move this over here and expose the lyrics, something new I'm doing on my channel now, trying to show lyrics, not all the time, but sometimes. Uh, so you can follow along, and we're going to play James Cons, uh, John Cons, excuse me, not James, John Cons. Uh, song fighter so while i'm bringing this up give us a big old thumbs up like and subscribe -y. ring a ding ding the bell so you get my notifications and here we go That's what I do I 
didn't soldier on this far just to lose. So take your shot. Is that all you got? up there for your enjoyment but um yeah you know i mean what what motivates a guy like trump what gives him that power and energy um some people say he's just in this for his own benefit and for his own greed but you're not going to put yourself on the line and possibly die for money he's certainly not going to he's got billions he doesn't need more. He's got more money than him or his family can spend in 10 lifetimes. So he's not doing this just for the money. He's not doing this to feather his own. What motivates somebody to suffer these slings and arrows and outrageous fortune against himself? Uh, sorry for the little copy there, but... Um, yeah, what what motivates this man? I, I don't know. I I hope God blesses Donald Trump. I hope he survives to become our president and to help us get our country back on the right track. One thing apparently we all agree upon. I mean, they're on the polls. They, they always all the polls are saying we're like seventy percent of the country thinks we're going in the wrong direction. So then we have to turn around and go the other direction. We're going the wrong way. So let's elect Trump and go the other way. <clears throat> You're not going to die. All this nonsense that's talking about abortion. All he did was move abortion from federal to state. That's all he. That's all that we, anybody ever asked for. They didn't say you couldn't have abortions. They didn't make it illegal all across. The, you know, it, it's not what happened. It didn't happen before. I'll point out that Roe v. Wade was reversed under Biden, not under Trump. Um, but it really didn't change anything. In fact, it made it simpler. And if you live someplace where you can't have an abortion in your hometown, go over to the next. I'm on, come on. I used to live in Montana, one of the biggest states in the world. And what am I, 100 miles away from Idaho or Wyoming or, or North or South Dakota? You can't be more than a couple hundred miles away. You can get in your car, less than a tank of gas, and you can be someplace to get your abortion if that's what you need to do. This this is not, and, and Planned Parenthood will do it for free, right? So it's, you can't give me any nonsense that it costs you too much, or you can't afford it, you can't do it. Of course, the you know, the simplest way to do that is just keep your knees together. That would work, too. But God, you know, forbid we should tell women to do that. Oh, well, I just did. So jump all over me if you want. Um, yeah, I think social media and, and our culture is making it very clear. We can jump up and down and spend billions of dollars in the next 40 some days to the election, which they're going to do. 
but at this point, it's all a big waste of money because the culture is already leaning towards Trump, and we're not going to change that in 40 days. Um, you've got Harris taking direction from Biden and hiding in the basement, not coming out and talking to anybody. Um, if you can't talk to your own people, I mean, okay, so if she goes and talks to other Democrats, if you can't talk to your own Democrats, which then gets put on the air for everybody else to see, then how are you going to talk to all the other world leaders and, and have any kind of uh, ability to to protect our interests abroad? I mean, she's afraid. They're afraid. They're, they're, and rightfully so. They're afraid she's going to go out there and have some kind of word salad and be, you know, talking about being unburdened by the past. <laughs> God. All right, well, I'm going in a deep hole here. I just wanted to play this song by Joe Kahn. Excuse me, John Kahn. John Kahn. Um, I have not heard it up until just now. This was the first time reaction for me on that. Um, Musically, it was okay. It was was good. It was, you know, it's not a new national anthem. You know, it's not like God bless the USA or something. Um, And it's a good little... Diddy to uh, you know demonstrate what's going on with Trump. I I, I did uh, I found Tom McDonald's you know you miss to be a bit more enjoyable to watch but and to listen to. Uh, but I think reading in these lyrics you know every bit of it's true. Um, he's not alone, and um, he didn't come this far to lose. So he didn't put up with being shot once and being shot at a second time. Well, I don't think he was actually shot at. I think the the FBI finally did their job and shot at the guy, the would-be assailant, before he got a shot off at Trump. But this man certainly is a fighter, and I want him in the ring on our side. That's that's where I stand. So, all right, do your worst. Get in the comments section. Tear me up. Go. Feel free to do that. And... Um, Other than that, give us a big old thumbs up, like, subscribe, ring, ding, ding, the bell, so you get notifications when I post something new, and I'll have more for you here in the near future.